Cat here, and I'm here to do my, a the first of many uh, September book hauls. And I know it's only like the second as I'm doing this video. I don't know when I'm going to post it, but as I'm doing it, it's the second. Um, and I've already had quite a bit of books to haul, so it's okay, right? It's fine. I don't have a problem. So, one of the first books I got was uh, Terry Goodkind's Wizard's First Rule. And I got this when it was free for like, I want to say like 10 minutes on the Kindle. I don't know what happened, but I saw it was free and I was like, mm-hmm. Come here. Come here. And sure enough, it was free. I didn't get charged. I thought it was a fluke because the minute I reloaded the page after I saw that it was free, it went back to being like, I don't know, I want to say 10 bucks or something. I was like, I have the power. Next one I got was Honor Harrington, Harrington by David Weber, and this is the second one in the uh, the Honor of the Queen series. Maybe that's what it's called. And uh, this one was another one that was free, and then when I reloaded the page, it went back to being its original price, and I was like, okay. <laughs> by the way, I don't know what any of those first those books are about, so I'm not I'm not even gonna try. This one I got is a short story collection called Epic Legends of Fantasy. So there's, it looks like this. And it has Patrick Rothfuss, some George R. R. Martin, some Robin Abb, some Sanderson, some Le Guin, some Kate Elliott, some Orson, some Orson Scott Cards in here. Um, I think there's some Elizabeth Baer and Kelly Armstrong too. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Is there more? Oh, some... Michael Murrock, Murrock or something. I forgot his name. Melaine Rain, N.K. Jemison, Kelly Vaughn, Carrie Vaughn, uh, Juliet Marrere. People like her. I'm not a big fan of her, but you know, whatever. You could, you can be a fan. You could be a fan. But yeah, it looks like really cool, and it has like a compilation of short stories, and plus, it's pretty highly rated. So I'm excited. <laughs> I love fantasy, man, I gotta say. I love it. Love it. Next ones I got is the Poetic Edda. The Prose Edda. It kind of... I'm so weak, I can't even lift this with one hand. And then the Sagas of the Icelanders. And all three of those are a whole bunch of short stories kind of thing of the Norse gods. So, yeah. I'm excited. I like... I like Odin and Freya and Frigga and all those. And plus, um, my dad always told me these stories as a kid, like as a bedtime thing. He would be like, or just like, hey, dad, tell me a story. And he would tell me stories from all three of these books. And so uh, we were talking about it over the phone. Well, not over the phone. We were talking about it. <laughs> Why did I say over the phone? <laughs> anyway. Oh, and uh, he gave me all three of them because he's nice and I went to read them and now I can read them and have and uh, before I go to bed instead of hearing his voice which is actually kind of sad why doesn't he read me stuff anymore and the last Kindle book I got is The Firestone by Tanya Huff and this follows this is obviously a, a sword and sorcery I mean look at that look look at him standing on that rock you can't look at that and not be like that's a sword and sorcery book if I've ever saw one um, anyway, this follows three people. One is fled a clan to, cause his father was just slain. Of course, everybody's like getting their father's skin killed and all that. Dumb. I, I love it still, actually. I, 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 I've never not loved that storyline. <laughs> Which is weird. Um, the second one follows a prince who is very good at everything, but too bad he's a drunk and he is arrogant and he's always sleeping with the peoples and the third is the princess that he's betrothed to who's actually on her way to him to say hey we shouldn't get married in all seriousness I don't want to touch you so yeah it seems interesting it's Tanya Huff and we all know I love Tanya Huff she's my girl we're buddies we're Canadian buddies even though I've never been to Canada so Onto the actual books I got. Um, the first one being From the Earth to the Moon, All Around the Moon, and it's two books in one by. What's his name again? Jules Verne. I was thinking J James Verne, and I was like, that's, that's not right. 
Um, I believe this is the same guy who did Thousand Leagues Under the Sea and everything. Uh, not everything. Not everything wasn't part of the title. Just Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. So. Didn't he also do Sleepy Hollow? I don't know. I forgot. Um, but this is his sci-fi book, I think. I know, it was free. I saw it at the library. I grabbed it. Whatever. <laughs> the next one I got is the third book in the War of Souls, a, a Dragonlance book. And this is Dragons of the Vanished Moon. And I believe this follows kind of the, the series follows the political side of Dragonlance. And I didn't have the third book, and now I do. So that's exciting. And then I also got Dragons of Summer Flame. And this is part of the second generation of heroes in Dragonlance. And supposedly you're supposed to read um, these books in a certain order. So. so this is how you're supposed to read them. You're supposed to read it from the Dragonlance Chronicle to the War of the Twins to Dragons of Summer Flame to the Lost Souls trilogy. And it's supposed to, that's how you're supposed to read them. I don't know if that was intended or not, but that's what people recommend. So I'm going to try it. Yeah. So the next book I got is um, The Gift by Allison Corrigan. And this is the first, first book of the Pillinor series. And I didn't know this was the first book. I looked at the author and I was like, oh, which book is this, is, is this in the Pillinor series? But uh, in the UK, it's called The Gift. And in the US and I think other places, it's called The Naming. So that was confusing because I looked at it and I was like, this ain't the first book. And then I had to look it up. And I was like, this is the first book. I'm buying it. I like this cover. No, I don't. I like the one with the girl's face. It's ugly. It makes me happy. The next book I got is The Wind Up Girl by I don't even want to pronounce that name. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Okay? That's injustice. That's a crime for me to try to pronounce that name. <laughs> Uh, with the lisp and everything, it ain't going to end well. And, uh, I don't, this book is about this guy, oh wait, a girl who's a wind-up girl, and I think she meets this guy, and the people are after her, I don't know, it's a Hugo Award winner, I'm trying to read all the Hugo Award winners, I can, not by the end of this year, obviously, but I do want to read all of them, because, I don't know, they're like one of the most referenced books in sci-fi and fantasy communities, and I never know what people are talking about. So now I can know. This book won't come off the table. That's not a good sign. <laughs> the last and final book I got is The Pendragon Chronicles. And this is another compilation of stories about King Arthur. And I love King Arthur retellings. I love him. Beautiful. I especially like it when it's all about Arthur. I know a lot of people like Merlin and everything, but I like Arthur. He's chill. He's pretty hot. He's insane. He's you know, going around slaying stuff. That's kind of cute. I mean, if all, well, if you look like, to me, um, other than in the TV show Merlin, I always picture Arthur as Kevin Sorbo back in his Hercules days. You know, but, you know, as an actor today, because he was horrible back then. <laughs> horrible actor. But I picture Kevin Sorbo as Arthur with a, a little bit of scruff. He's not full on beard. Not, not the full beard, but a little scruff. And I picture Merlin as, you know, the Merlin from the TV show. I don't know why. It happens. Anyway, <laughs> that's the end of my book haul. My first one. So I hope you enjoy. So, cheers!